All right, today in Algebra 2, we are going to finish up Section 6.6. We're going to look at solving logarithmic equations. So we're going to solve and check our answers for extraneous solutions. Remember that logarithms are not defined for negative values. So if we start out with a logarithm, we must check all of our answers. Okay. So the very first one says the natural log of x squared minus 16 equals the natural log of 6x. Remember that if I have the logarithm or the natural log on both sides, then I just set them equal to each other what they were taking the logarithm of. And I can get rid of the log. So here I really just have x squared minus 16 equals 6x. Now I have x squared and x's. I need to get all of my x's on the same side. So I'm going to subtract 6x over. So I get x squared minus 6x minus 16 equals 0. This is what I want to solve. I always check to see if it will factor first, because I would rather factor than do quadratic formula. So x and x. I'm looking for what can I multiply together to get negative 16, but add to get negative 6. So 8 times 2 is 16, and I can get a 6 out of an 8 and a 2. So negative 8 plus 2. So then this one gets me x equals 8. This one gets me x equals negative 2. So now I need to check both of my answers. So now I'm going to come over here and check. The natural log of 8 squared is 64 minus 16 equals the natural log of 6 times 8. So the natural log 64 minus 16 gets me 48. Is that equal to the natural log of 48? Yes. So I know x equals 8 works. So now I'm going to plug in negative 2. So the natural log negative 2 squared is 4. So I have 4 minus 16 equals the natural log of 6 times negative 2. So the natural log 4 minus 16 gets me negative 12. Natural log 6 times negative 2, negative 12. You have the same thing on both sides, but remember, no negative logs. I cannot take the negative, uh, the logarithm of a negative number. So the x equals negative 2, that is extraneous. So that one does not work. So my only answer there is x equals 8. If neither of them had worked, my answer would have been no solution. Remember that as well. So let's look at the next one. Log base 5 of x squared minus 45 equals log base 5 of 4x. Again, I have the log base 5 on both sides, so they those go away, and I'm just left with x squared minus 45 equals 4x. And I wanted to get everything on the same side. So x squared minus 4x minus 45 equals 0. Check to see if it will factor. What can I multiply together to get negative 45? But add to get negative 4. That's going to be a negative 9 and a positive 5. So I get x equals 9, x equals negative 5. Let's check all of my answers. So log base 5, 9 squared is 81 minus 45 equals log base 5 of 4 times 9. So log base 5, 81 minus 45 is 36, equals log base 5 of 36. Check. So x equals 9 works. Again, negative 5. Log base 5, negative 5 squared is 25 minus 45, equals log base 5 of 4 times negative 5. I get log base 5 of negative 20 equals log base 5 of negative 20. Again, I got the same thing, but no negatives. So that is extraneous. So my only answer, x equals 9. The last one we're going to solve, natural log of negative 4x minus 1 equals the natural log of 4x squared. Again, they both have the natural logs on both sides. So I just write down negative 4x minus 1 equals 4x squared. Put everything on the same side. So 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 0. I'm going to factor this. I recognize that this is a perfect square trinomial. So 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 1. So when I solve it, I only get one answer. x equals negative 1 half. So now I need to plug that in and check. The natural log of negative 4 times negative 1 half, that is positive 2. 2 minus 1 equals the natural log of 
4 times negative 1 half squared is 1 fourth. So the natural log of 1 equals the natural log of 1. Yes, and I did not end up with a negative number there. I have a negative number as an x, but when I plug it back in, I don't get the logarithm of a negative number. So x equals negative 1 half works. So the last thing we're going to look at is solve logarithmic and exponential equations by graphing. So we're going to solve both uh, by graphing both equations and find their points of intersection. Remember to check your answers. We're going to do this on either Desmos or using a graphing calculator. Number one, log of 2x plus 1 to the fifth power equals x minus 2. So what I'm going to type in for y1 would be log. I'm going to bring that 5 out front. 5 times the log of 2x plus 1. And then for y2, I will put x minus 2. Again, we're going to graph those. And then use the intersection feature on the graphing calculator. Or in Desmos, you can just click the arrow where they are intersecting. And we find that they intersect at x is approximately negative 0.329. x is approximately 8.204. And I want to check them. So log of 2 times negative 0.329 plus 1 to the fifth power equals negative 0.329 minus 2. I'm more interested in this number right here. When I take this number, 2 times negative 0.329, add 1 to that, and then take it to the fifth power. I get a whole a positive number, so that one works. And then plug in 8.204. And I can see that when I plug in a positive number over here, Everything's going to stay positive, so both of those will work. Number 2, 3 times 2 to the x plus 2 power minus 1 equals 3 minus x. So y1, I'm going to type in this whole thing, 3 times 2 to the x plus 2, all of that minus 1. My second one that I'm going to graph, 3 minus x. I'm going to look to see where they intersect. They intersect only once at x is approximately negative 1.205. I did not start out with logarithms, so I am not required to check this one, but I can plug it in to check if I want. And the last one, the natural log of 3x minus 1 equals x minus 5. So y1, I want to put three, the natural log of 3x minus 1, and then the second one I'm going to graph is x minus 5. I'm going to look to see where they intersect at. They intersect at x is approximately 8.156, x is approximately 0.336. I plug them in, 3 times 8, I'm going to get a like positive 24 minus 1 positive number. So that one works. If I plug in 0.336, 3 times 0.336, and then subtract 1, again I would get a positive number. So they both work. And so that wraps up section 6.6, .6, which also wraps up chapter 6. Today's homework is the Envision 6.6 .6 worksheet, number 29 through 40. Again, on the graphing, you will either use graphing calculator or Desmos. It's your choice. And then we will have our test the, after we go over the test review next class period.